Thank you for joining me today. Neither the State of the Union Address nor the Super Bowl seemed as important to us as the precious Turkish and Syrian people being pulled alive from the rubble yesterday. After six days, they found another survivor, a woman, and our hearts leaped for joy. We mourn over the burials. Many burials are going on, and even in some instances, entire families being put to rest and also the massive grief that's going on in both Turkey and Syria. But we also rejoice with them over the lives pulled from the rubble. Very touching images on social media and in the news of people clapping and cheering on the lives that were pulled from those devastating remains. The death toll is over 36,000 as of today's reports. Massive injuries, people still hospitalized, and many of those hospitalized, they may not actually make it. So, friends, put yourself in their shoes for a moment. Uh, they're dealing now with looting. Their lives have been torn apart. Their entire existence, uh, they're just in complete and utter despair. And this could happen here in the USA. So, Please try to walk in their shoes and understand what is going on in their lives. And let's pray with the deepest compassion. There was a Reuters fact-checked article I read last night. I don't typically read those kind of uh, news stories, but apparently there is a lot of buzz on social media that the U.S. military's heart program could have actually caused the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. Reuters, they went right to task debunking the claim, but my thoughts are this, if the Turkish people or the Syrian people were convinced that indeed the U.S. government or NATO caused those earthquakes, it could be a very bad day for the USA. The entire Middle East turning on the USA massive retaliation and it could actually turn into a religious war and then we had our president threatening to take out the Nord Stream pipeline last fall he said that publicly and then it was actually taken out millions are suffering because of that explosion so we don't really know what the details are actually but one thing is clear it seems as though the beast very cold and calculating he is making a case against the americans and their arrogance and what more will be brought out to the open about the evil of america we really need to be taking these things to prayer you know we are not a cold-hearted people but we cannot control the activities of our government or the so-called deep military complex I pray our government didn't do any of these uh, activities. May the Lord cause love to prevail. We have two family uh, friends here in the USA from Turkey. They're immigrants from Turkey, people we care for very deeply. You know, we've had them over for Thanksgiving and Christmas and Christmas. We just love them so much. People are people. One tweet said, the earthquake in Turkey looks like a punitive operation harp by NATO or the U.S. government against Turkey. And while they were sharing a video that appears to show lightning strikes, and they added that they're not normal in earthquakes. No, lightning strikes are not normal in any earthquake, but they wrote that always happens in harp operations. There was a similar claim on Instagram. Well, let's switch gears. Pretty much everyone, uh, everywhere, no matter where you live, you can have potted plants in your home. And I hope that everyone has a sunny windowsill. And it's the time, friends of the year, to be thinking about your herb garden. Do it for free. Hey, if you need some seeds, write me. Uh, I'll put our P.O. boxes in the description area of this uh, video. I'll send you some seeds if you are uh, short on funds and you need some seeds. My favorite herbs and my go-to herbs on a regular basis are rosemary, basil, chamomile, and the simple benefits of these three herbs. They make them my 
top three best herbs to grow this year. And you can actually get rosemary and basil plants at the grocery store. And you can just propagate them, make new plants from the cuttings. I've done that in the past. And I would definitely try to grow chamomile as well uh, because it can be an effective sleep aid. You can bring these plants inside if you have them outside on your patio you can bring them inside for the winter their benefits far uh are outweigh any kind of uh, aggravation of taking care of plants you can grow all three of these uh, herbs and you can dry them hang them in your kitchen store them in glass jars and we only have 24 hours in a day i realize that people are busy they're working raising their families, all the responsibilities that we have. But I have to say, having a small herb garden can be such a great blessing, especially for your health, and you don't have to invest much time in it at all. Plus, this could be the year to get off of coffee. Get off of coffee, friends, and get into drinking herbal teas. It will bless your health. It will boost your immune system as long as your doctor says it's okay and there's no contraindications from any medications that you're on. So two thumbs up from us for having a little uh, herbal tea garden. And one other item I wanted to discuss in closing is how smart it is to store up some dehydrated potato flakes. Now one container, we just picked this up the other day from Gordon's has about 90 plus servings. You can use them for toddlers. You can use them for the elderly. Maybe you have a family member who uh, chokes easily. These are so cost effective, shelf stable, and uh, they, you can make potato cakes with them and mix in other ingredients like garlic and green onions, or you can even put in some small pieces of hamburger or ham. There are so many options out there. So wanted also to give you that little tidbit today. Friends, we'll be back soon. I pray that you all have a blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ.